Yeah, g'day all. Just a quick video. Um, I've got the charger that I sell here. Uh, it's AccuPower 338XL. Um, so you've got two 9 volt slots. So it's good for charging 9 volt batteries if you're using them for pin pointers um, or other things. Now the two 9 volt slots only have a charge light. They don't actually have a, a charge display. So the charge display, we've got four banks and they'll do triple A's, double A's, C's and D's. Um, so nickel metal hydride and they will also do your rechargeable uh, single cell lithium batteries like the 18650 cells which are used in um, a lot of popular head torches. Um, now one cool function is we've got a, you can just charge them um, and you can change the uh, charge current. So the higher your current the faster the recharge um, but slower recharges are, are better for for the life of your batteries so if you got time you do it slow if you if you need to speed it up you go to a faster charge current um, now one cool function is charge test function which basically um, discharges the batteries charges them up and so it'll give you the rated capacity. So if you just put them in and do a charge, it's just going to show you the capacity that's gone into the battery. So that's not going to tell you a full uh, readout of what the batteries actually can hold. So you need to do a charge test or a discharge test function, which kind of cycles it. I think it charges it, discharges it, and then charges it again. So the, the discharge test takes quite a while. Um, but if you just want to see what life your batteries are holding, um, you can just do a charge test function. Um, so I've done that on these old batteries, um, PowerTech 1.2 volt. Uh, they're a 4,500 milliamp hour. Now I don't I don't sell these. Um, because they've got a, they've got the small, small nib. So for the SDC twenty three hundred, um, you want the ones with a wider surface. There, uh, that sort of helps with with any connection issues. Um, so yeah, the AccuPower ones I sell are better. But I just wanted to see what capacity these were holding. Um, so you can see this one's got five thousand seventy eight milliamp hour um, so I've just put a little bit of masking tape on the battery and written it on so you can uh, keep track of them so that one's good it's it's actually holding more than than the rated capacity this one's also good 4795 very good uh, then we've got two kind of duds we got 2739 and 2620 so um, yeah they're gonna let you down um, so what I'll do um, I'll just put it back in press the 3 here to go to and we see here it says flashing charge we'll just change that mode and I'll actually do a discharge test function on that one so we get a give it a full cycle and um, see if uh, see if we can get a, a much higher a re, a capacity on there, and we'll do that to this one as well. And again, it, it, it defaults to charge, so we change it. Charge test, discharge test. Make sure they're in. So I'm just going to let that run. Um, and see if we can uh, get these batteries back up. Uh, the other cool thing is it's got an, uh, a rear 
USB outlet. Uh, so you can plug USB cables in there. Um, so that one will, will charge my GPZ wireless module. Um, basically anything with a with a mini B plug um, and my steel phase. Plug that in there. Um, yeah. So a good little charge of this. If you've got a range of uh, different batteries for different devices, um, you can do them all on this. Okay, so I've uh, run these overnight. Um, have a look. That one that was two six twenty uh, is going up to four seven sixty six. And this one, which was 2739 milliamps, it's gone up to 4853. So, uh, yeah, I'll write the new values on there. And we've got a full set that are good to go. And all of them are over the rated uh, 4500 capacity. So, yeah, the charger's done a good job.